So, uh, hi everyone to my talk. I'm uh, Gabor Kelemen, currently working as a QA engineer for Allotropia, and uh, I would like to give a um, very, very high level overview of uh, interoperability of LibreOffice, especially in Microsoft uh, formats. Uh, uh, a little bit of uh, history uh, about me. Uh, during the last uh, mm, several years, I have uh, been uh, hunting these sort of uh, issues and reporting them uh, as part of my work. Uh, and uh, I can say that uh, compared to like six years ago, when I started with this uh, on the industrial level, I, I can say there is a lot of progress uh, but we are still not there. And uh, most importantly, this talk is not for those who are currently present here, so uh, sorry for wasting your time, but for those who can uh, afford the luxury of uh, improving LibreOffice in terms of uh, actual code contribution or uh, giving out uh, um, contracts to the ecosystem companies. Uh, this is just uh, several ideas. What, and what can be you do uh, to improve LibreOffice and uh, make sure your documents uh, look uh, the same after opening it in LibreOffice and uh, after saving it in LibreOffice? So a little bit of agenda. I will show you some numbers, uh, which is statistics, so it's lies, don't believe it. Uh, I will define what do I mean good, bad, and ugly as uh, feature coverage in LibreOffice. And a little bit of uh, mm, very detailed uh, look at docx, xlsx, and pptx, and highlighting the ugly bits everywhere because they are not concentrated to the ugly parts, but in everywhere. So, a lot of uh, numbers. This is the number of meta bugs uh, in the first line for docx, xlsx, blah, blah, blah. And uh, the actual number of open bugs under those categories, which of course include the open bugs, the meta bugs, and uh, all these. Uh, Mm, subcategories which uh, I will talk about later. What can you see of this? The color coding of the numbers uh, shows the same applications, so text uh, is red and uh, blah blah blah. What can we see? Best supported uh, format is PPT because there is a very small number of meta bugs and actually f very small number of open box for that format. Very good, right? No, wrong. Okay, so this is, a, uh, this is actually a lie. Uh, this just shows that uh, some formats are more popular among users than others. It does not mean those are supported well, that show low numbers. They are not very popular. We are, as community, not doing enough to find problems in those formats. So perhaps uh, a little bit more effort should be uh, put in those formats because most features you can have in, let's say, Word, you can save those in RTF, Doc, DocX. DocX is very much covered in terms of bugs, but if you save the same document for which we have a report in DocX, to doc or RTF formats, it will very likely uh, fall apart in those formats. So we need to find a lot more bugs. Uh, next slide, what is good, bad, and ugly? Let's say we have a meta bug, which uh, covers an area of feature in in LibreOffice, let's say paragraph in DocX. I consider the current uh, 
state of that feature are good if it's uh, if the ever uh, reported filed bugs are mostly solved, so above 85 percent. It's bad if it's uh, between 60 and 85, and it's ugly if it's below 60. But you may say I'm very strict here and very pessimistic, and actual users will never hit those uh, those bugs. Maybe, but come on, if you have ever had a decent university exam, performance below 60% would give you a very, very low grade for that, right? So let's be strict to our, with ourselves as well. So now the, the deep dive into those uh, categories and formats, but only the OXML ones. So for DOCX, I see uh, six uh, categories. This may be a little bit uh, difficult to understand, but I just uh, copy-pasted the Metabug uh, titles, so they are kind of mm, kind of wacky sometimes. Uh, one thing to highlight here is uh, comment issues uh, category. It works pretty well, but uh, but but this uh, comment replies feature, which uh, Word has since I don't know at least 2010, is uh, not very uh, interoperable. Like uh, like it's it's just not. So if you have replied a, a, to a comment, it will fall apart uh, in uh, in writer. And we are already at the bad ones, and we have uh, several categories uh, of several slides filled with these. Uh, most of these are not not necessarily just uh, docx specific, but just to highlight, uh, for example, there is OXML strict support for in the shapes category. Uh, it just shows that the for for this uh, very new OXML strict standard, we don't have uh, very much uh, uh, bug reports because uh, because it it uh, it should not uh, just affect uh, the shapes that uh, for which we have existing reports. So there is something very 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 deeply buried here. And of course, we don't have uh, multicolor gradients, and we don't have uh, proper table styles, and we don't have table white uh, uh, automatic table white uh, support for tables. So there are many many bugs uh, apart from these, but these are the most important ones I think for these categories. And of course, we are having this uh, rotated text. Uh, uh, text boxes issue, which is uh, kind of hurtful. And uh, and even the aggressive competition is attacking uh, LibreOffice with that feature. Uh, so it would be very decent to to fix it for, uh, for the foreseeable fu future. We have uh, more uh, bad categories. Uh, and the uh, generic OXML uh, bug tracker for which the mm, initial slides, uh, the 700 uh, figure was shown, is also in this category. So it's uh, it should really see a lot more love. Some more uh, more highlighted features is the negative page margins feature, which is very strange, in, even in Word. But uh, page margin, uh, top and bottom, works completely different if you put in the field a positive number or a negative number, and we don't support the negative number case. And it causes a lot of uh, real-world documents to fall apart, uh, especially those required by the 
the court system of California State. For example, I had seen some some lovely uh, examples from from that jurisdiction, and they won't uh, change their habits just for us. Sorry, no no time for questions. Uh, and uh, of course, there is the lovely feature request uh, paragraph level uh, justification, which is introduced in Word 2013. And we had a um, feature request for this very same feature since 2011, and we still don't have it while the competition has. It would be really useful to have that as well. OK, more, more um, bad things in DOCX, but this is the bulk of it, I promise. So uh, in Word, you can put uh, end notes uh, directly at the end of the document and not on only on the um, end of the whole document at a new page. Uh, and um, there are several use cases for this, especially in, in, in university settings when people are writing long, long dissertations with thousands of uh, re uh, references and they are put in the end note and it falls apart. So it would be also nice to have this. And uh, last batch in Docx bad things, track changes. Track changes is a lovely feature of Word and it's a uh, passive feature of Word, meaning it, uh, Word supports it and users are just pushing a button to enable it and the Word tracks any changes it sees. Uh, and the user has no much uh, control about what is tracked. Unfortunately, we, our Word, Word has a lot, of, a lot less uh, support for uh, tracking um, changes in documents and, uh, and it is uh, possible to add support for each and every one of those. And uh, Laszlo Nemeth is also doing it uh, currently as part of his job, but, uh, but uh, a lot of lot more uh, work is uh, needed in this area to be uh, interoperable uh, feature-wise as well with Word. And of course, the deletions on the annotations bar so that you can see the final document with changes in the document body and with additions is also a much needed feature. Mm. And uh, of course we have this uh, support restrict editing in of documents. Uh, Word has several ways to, to limit uh, what can be changed in, in the document. And we are uh, a word is uh, is very good at this, and uh, we um, writer supports about half of those options. Another uh, reason for documents falling apart is the use of this continuous section break uh, feature in Word. Mm. It's uh, it's a, a word feature since forever, and we, ha um, we have been unable to uh, implement it uh, so far. And the uh, last, uh, last of this list is VML support for graphics. So this was the um, XML uh, format used by Microsoft 2007 and it was replaced by DML uh, in 2010 and uh, newer versions. So it might sound like uh, not very important to have this. In general, uh, VML support is unreliable, especially with uh, group shapes. And, uh, and of course, uh, when we, sh when we save uh, 
or open group shapes, uh, the rotated text box issue also uh, hits us. And another question is why do I mention VML? Like who the hell has uses it other than Microsoft Office 2007? I will return to that later. So uh, last uh, slide is uh, the ugly categories. Uh, again, VML and uh, the fact that we don't have a, a canvas shape in, in DocX. So that uh, that is uh, uh, another uh, reason for um, very very uh, detailed and and uh, carefully crafted uh, graphics to fall apart in in writer when they were put on to on this uh, canvas shape whatever that is uh, you can basically uh, Resize uh, doc, uh, shapes together in in Word, and of course the formula related issues is uh, is basically the mathematical equations in this uh, context. And uh, last but not least is the is the biggest uh, elephant in the room is the floating table. Uh, someone should really uh, implement that uh, for writer, not because it makes a lot of sense, but it uh, is used by a lot of people, perhaps even inadvertently. But this does not make it uh, unnecessary to support. And uh, for the la last slide of uh, DocX, a uh, little bit of uh, chart highlighting uh, what is really uh, a bad uh, uh, situation in all those categories. Uh, this is the number of open uh, bugs uh, in the meta uh, bugs. So we can see that uh, the floating table alone feature is about at 30 open bugs. You may not see 30 as a very large number, like. One billion is a large number, but in in terms of bugs, uh, thirty is a large number. And uh, and the table issues also contains this. But even if you uh, if you subtract uh, the thirty from this this very long uh, bar, you are still around sixty. It's still terrible. There is a no silver bullet here. We just need to fix every single uh, reported issues. Uh, it does not mean everything is just plainly a uh, interoperability issue, meaning that uh, we don't need uh, to develop new features and new attributes for existing objects. There are lots of uh, issues that can be solved only by developing uh, new uh, attributes or new features, including UI, including ODF support, including extending the ODF uh, standard. Those are also here among this, uh, this huge lot. So if you want to pull out some, some very, very uh, poisonous uh, sticks from the interoperability of writer, uh, please take a look at these categories. And with that, we can mm, go to the bad ones in generic OXML. Uh, generic OXML, I mean features that are the same in, in all applications like writer, Calc and Impress, you can have like surface charts, pi pi charts, pi bar charts, and the, the new MSOX, MSO 2016 chart types, which are six of them in all of those applications, uh, except we don't support those features.
and I'm already at the bad ones. There are no good ones in this category. So we have we have little time left. Uh, I will just uh, fast forward. More bad categories for OXML, including, uh, of course, VML shape and uh, EMF VMF uh, support, which is a an image file format, and uh, VBA macro issues. Um, I'm actually surprised that uh, VBA is not in the ugly category, but it should really be there. And uh, and of course, uh, there are ugly ones in generic OXML, like word art, word art and uh, complex charts, which are um, charts with uh, more uh, more than one um, representation for for the uh, for the data. So, it, uh, we, uh, chart component supports uh, column and line combination, but uh, but Microsoft Office uh, supports a lot more combinations for for the, uh, data visualization and and in some some use cases uh, those are as well used. And of course there is Asian phonetic guide. I have no idea what what is that, but looks very bad, bad in in terms of uh, open box. Uh, another chart. Uh, of these uh, categories, what we can see is that uh, shape support, uh, drawing ML and VML, is uh, is easily topping the list, like uh, single biggest uh, issue. But there is no uh, silver bullet f against that. Unfortunately, it's just really a lot of small issues related to to the support of that in the three or. Uh, applications all over the place. And finally, we have some good ones at XLSX, finally at, at that. Uh, so perhaps the most important among these is the auto filter related box, of which uh, my colleague Balazs Varga will have a talk uh, tomorrow and he will talk about his work in this area. And uh, of course, we have this little rarely used form uh, feature in Excel that uh, you can password protect uh, sheet uh, modifications. And uh, Excel has a lot more uh, parts of the um, sheet that you can, uh, you can password protect. And uh, XLSX is again in in somewhat of a bad shape. Uh, uh, we have a, a little uh, little missing feature in hyperlinks, which is uh, which is a fundamental difference in the philosophy of Excel and, and uh, Calc, which means Excel, in Excel the hyperlink is a cell level uh, feature and uh, in Calc it's a text level feature and uh, we should really develop uh, this in the long term. And uh, conditional formatting is again uh, Festering since a long time. I won't go into details, but you can you can conditionally format uh, your Excel files in a lot more ways than uh, than in Calc. More bad ones for XLSX. Uh, there was new comment threads of, uh, support and. Uh, And uh, there is a page layout uh, view uh, in Excel, which we don't have. 
and uh, and the most uh, interesting part is perhaps this document protection uh, issue where you can set Excel to allow only uh, users um, edit some range of cells and uh, this is uh, also strongly tied to the active uh, directory if I'm if I remember correctly so the user identification is tied there and uh, and we have uh, aggressive competitors uh, there as well and uh, and you can have equations in shapes but uh, but that's for ppt what that's uh, mentioned in pptx and uh, and of course the the striped formatting of uh, uh, cell ranges which is format as table in excel we completely missed that feature uh, form control is again another underloved area uh, I mentioned uh, who else uses VML these days form controls in Excel they, they used VML for describing the graphical appearance of their uh, their form controls somehow a little bit of overview uh, what I would like to highlight is that there we have reports that we can save uh, XLSX files that Excel cannot open and uh, that's kind of unacceptable for uh, for most normal people which is another word for end user and uh, PPTX PPTX uh, does not seem to have uh, such issues and one more um, I'm just uh, stepping over these uh, yeah 3d model is uh, is terrible looking uh, and uh, kind of uh, kind of popular in in drawing shapes uh, in uh, PowerPoint files and of course there is a lot of options for setting text text level effects uh, which is uh, most popular in PPTX format but uh, it, it is also available for for XLSX or or docx documents as well and of course the another elephant in the room is uh, equation issues like uh, lots of people like to put uh, mathematical equations on their slides for example in schools teachers like to do that and uh, those are just disappearing in uh, power in a uh, in uh, impress last uh, last uh, um, chart again shapes are looking out uh, as the top issue and uh, time's up uh, questions is outside thank you for uh, for your attention